Growing up, I've always wanted to become rich and famous and to help others achieve their dreams as well. Having spent the past few years trying out new habits and creating different routines for productivity, I want to share some important habits I've grown to understand, embrace and put into practice over the past few months that have been changing my life. To start, what is habit? Habit is a regular practice, especially one that is hard to give up. It's not about any single accomplishment. It's about the circle of endless refinement and continuous improvement. It's your commitment to the process that will determine your progress. It's more about trusting ourselves and the process. Over the years, I found myself building good habits for the sake of building good habits so that I could be more productive. I hope this video connects with you so that we can experience change together and also win together. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about habits that are changing my life. Okay, so 2022 was not my best year. That was when I just got into university. So it's yeah. just <laughs> and our sugar daddy. Yeah. Everything was just so tough for me and it was just as if I was starting a new life all over again. It wasn't easy for me. So towards the end of 2022, I told myself that I wanted a better life for myself. So on the 31st of December 2022, I made up my mind. I told myself that this 2023 is going to be a better year for me. I'm not going to go through any of those things I went through in 2022. I wanted a better life for myself this year. And so I sat down and I wrote some things down. I wrote down everything I wanted to achieve and I started um, working on myself. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the habits I'll be working on. And I want you guys to follow me on this journey of becoming my better self and your better self as well. First thing I started learning how to do is to write Normally, I tell people what I want to do. And I noticed that it wasn't good for me because if you tell someone what you want to do in the future, it's just as if in your mind, it's just there's this fulfillment in your mind that you have already achieved this. So it's be hard for you to achieve that goal. So I started writing my goals down, started listing them down in the book. What you are going to do for yourself, you are going to start writing your goals from now on, creating deadlines and writing the processes in which you are going to use to carry out to achieve these goals. Knowing what I deserve and not settling for less. This is in all aspects of my life. It's all about purpose, knowing your purpose. Once you know your purpose in this life and you know what is meant for you, will come right? don't settle for what is available at the moment what is meant for you will surely come no matter how it goes back and forth back and forth just know that what is meant for you is meant for you don't settle for less i've i learned that the hard way and i want you guys to know that what is meant for you can never be taken away from you so know your purpose and don't settle for less even knowing what i deserve made me to get rid of things that were not meant for me because i was just trying to settle on what was available at the moment so as i said as i stopped settling for what was available at the moment i just started seeing um, miracles i just seeing opportunities when you stop settling for less i promise you it will open doors for you and you won't know when you start seeing breakthroughs in your life so if there's anything that you don't feel is okay for you or you don't feel satisfied with just leave it let it go what is meant for you will surely be for you. And then when I'm talking about knowing what is meant for you and not settling for less, I'm, it's about, it's in all aspects of your life. You don't have to settle for being average. There are some kind of people that just have this mentality. Let me just, I will just, it's not a good mentality. Don't settle for average. Be the best in whatever you want to do. If you want to do something, aim at being the best and the biggest. Don't settle on, let me just, ah, let me just, the, the little mentality. You need to have a high mentality so i started manifesting the habit of never being average in anything i do and then i started practicing the habit of starting instead of procrastinating i stopped 
procrastinating. I stop telling myself, let's do this tomorrow. I'm not doing it tomorrow. If I say I'm going to do this tomorrow, I must do it tomorrow. And so if you're thinking, what if I start and this happens? And what if it doesn't happen? What if it actually happens and it turns out well? So you will never know if you don't try. So if you want to start anything, you need to make up your mind that you are going to start. And you are going to start without procrastinating. Anytime I felt like I was being too lazy or I was procrastinating, I told myself, I tell myself I'm doing this for my older self. And would my older self like it if I act this way? So when I do that, it makes me, it motivates me to work. And then I started planning my everyday activities. If I wake up in the morning and I want to meet up some particular goals, I write them down and tell myself I'm going to achieve this goal today. So when I wake up in the morning, I write down everything I'm going to achieve that day and make sure I achieve almost everything in that list. And then I started practicing the habits of being myself. When I'm talking about being yourself, I'm not saying you should go and misbehave outside and just say, ah, I'm being myself or be your natural self. And I've noticed that before I was trying to like act like some celebrities that I admire so much. And now discover that life is not all about that. Most celebrities, they don't even show you what, they just show you what they want you to see. So if you are just trying to act like them, you're, you're just trying to be someone different and the world needs someone like you. That's why you're different. So I started being myself and being myself makes me express myself better. It makes me become that better version of myself. I started being myself. Another thing I started doing is investing in myself. I started investing in myself at any given opportunity. When I sell things, once in a while, I get myself things. Yeah, that's not bad. I give myself at least once in a month. It's not selfishness. So I can't just be expecting things from people all the time. So I give myself and invest myself. I get things uh, for myself. And then investing in myself, I also learn some crafts on the internet. Another habit I learned this year is saving money. Hmm. Before I just spend money without like having any plans for the future. And I told myself, if I'm going to do this, what if something comes up in the future and I'm stranded? And what if there's an emergency? So I started saving money. Yeah. So it actually works because there are sometimes that you will need this money to uh, do something and you don't know where to come from. So it's good to save money. Another habit I cultivated is um learning i read books um i learn from my mentors i learn online so in everything you're doing don't be afraid of learning you can learn from anybody you can learn from your younger ones you can learn from your friends so any opportunity i get to learn i make sure i learn and i learn so well and it has really been changing my life because you learn every day and there's something i used to do every day every day i write down things i've learned so like today, maybe you sit down, write down, I learned this sort of thing today, I learned this today, I learned that today, anything, anything. So that's what I started doing this year. So another habit I started was working so hard. Um, anything doing is what doing well. So in anything you are doing in this life, you should put your whole heart and your whole energy into it. I tell myself every time when I'm so tired and I don't want to do something that everything worth doing is worth doing well. So if you're starting something, you should be dedicated and you should be hardworking. That's the only way you can be successful. And okay. And then I started working out. I work out at least um, five times in the week. So because I'm mostly in school, so I dedicate like five days in the week to work out. And it has started uh, working for me so far because most times in the morning i'm so tired to go to class and then when i walk out after that the next morning i'm so energetic and it makes me feel so good about myself like i'm actually working to achieve that um the health that i want and working out helps and you should invest in working out as well then i started speaking positive words to myself i said um, telling myself affirmations when i wake up in the morning i saw myself I can do this i can do that and it's funny enough it actually works um i tell myself every day i am going to be this i'm going to be that and it actually was so i said that speaking positive words to myself telling myself i can do this habit as i said manifesting was cleaning my space anytime i felt down or i felt a particular way i just clean my room um clean, do the dishes that made me feel some kind of relief and 
it made me um for feel in some kind of way so anytime i'm feeling down or anytime i don't feel so good i just clean up my space and then i wasn't so confident because of my insecurities but i told myself you can't you can never have it all so as i be more confident in myself when i go out and interact and as i see more opportunities while doing that confidence is just basically about faking it till you make it you can't just wake up one day and be confident it's something that you have to practice on a daily so when i go out i put my head high and i walk and i know that i am the best in another important habit that has been changing my life is talking to god whenever you feel down or you feel any kind of discomfort talk to god and pray to him he will surely listen to you and also make god your best friend so guys i've come to the end of this video if you watch the end thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe see you guys in my next video bye